Good evening, Boom Beach. You're watching Snuggles Plays and I'm your host, the one, the only, yes, it's your favourite Boom Beach girl. It's me, Snuggles. Hello, everybody out there. Hello to all my boomers, my fellow boomers, everyone in the Boom Beach community. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're all having an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are in the world, guys. Oh, take a breath. Guys, today we are here to bring you another exciting episode of War Factory. It's War Factory, early access War Factory on my Australian account for tomorrow, Thursday, the 5th of June. I have just finished War Factory, uh, quite a hard War Factory this week, guys. It's one of those layouts that I really, really hate. It's my least favourite uh, war factory um layout so i'll just show you did however manage to get it down in three attacks but i did find it hard and there were points when i it could have very easily gone very wrong and i could have just fluffed the whole thing up but anyway i'll just quickly talk you through what i did just quickly pause it for a couple of seconds to show you the layout so this is what this the layout looks like this week guys for this week's war factory uh, some of you may remember this layout from, this is the layout of War Factory that you have to defeat for the very first time ever in the game in order to unlock Captain Everspark. And um, if you haven't yet checked out my video on how to destroy War Factory for the very first time ever in the game and therefore how to unlock Everspark, I'll put a link in this video and you can go and check that out because I have done a video on that too guys and this is the layout the war factory base layout that you have to defeat for that first time ever when you get war factory for the first time in the game guys and to unlock captain everspark and uh, it's pretty much the same layout as the one that you get for the first time ever i think normally instead of where these two grapplers are i think there's usually lasers down here instead uh, there's never usually a laser up the back there behind the core they're usually down the front here but pretty much everything else I think about this layout is the same as the one that you get when you face War Factory for the very first time. You've still got all of these rockets here. So let's just unpause the video here. So what I decided to do, guys, was to attempt to use Sparky to double hack and take out both of these two rocket launchers here. Only these two, because as you can see from their range, these two rocket launchers range the back of the core where my Zookas uh, <clears throat> will be standing <clears throat> at the end. So I bring in Sparky here. I mark that first laser, uh, sorry, that first uh, rocket launcher. Um, I then flare the far back one and somehow the double hack on these rocket launchers goes wrong and Sparky hacks the one I marked and then hacks the flamethrower directly behind her. Um, I don't profess to be any kind of a brilliant expert on the double hack. I don't normally use the double hack. <coughs> um, <coughs> yeah, I think I did something the wrong way around. I think I should have flared the back rocket first and then I, I don't know guys anyway it doesn't matter because I got one rocket down and then I just decided to use my gumbo energy and just start taking the other one down using barrage and artillery so that's what I did so that was my first attack guys then second attack I came in again with sparky Again with Sparky and first, well, not, um, yeah, well, again with Sparky and first of all, uh, finished off that second rocket launcher with, with artillery. I then brought Sparky out and got her to hack that, this shock launcher up here. Because I didn't want that in the way of my Zookas when they eventually come to that area to take out the core. 
no problems with this hack guys hacking one defense is is nice and easy it usually is easy to hack two defenses i'm not quite sure what i did wrong there i think i just kind of flared should have flared before i pushed the button or i think i did i did something around the wrong way i don't know i don't care the fact is that we've got those two rocket launchers down and now we've got uh the the shock launcher down now as well uh, let's just speed this up I, I think i decide to throw the rest of my gbe here onto that laser um i was just deciding what best to do with the rest of my gbe that's why there's a long wait before i actually do anything and i decided at first i wasn't going to take out that laser with gbe and i because i was just going to get my zookas there in between the rocket launchers and i was just going to shock the laser alongside of the flamethrowers and the shock blasters and have them take take it out but i thought well do you know what sod's law will dictate as it always does with my luck that uh, that won't happen or i'll be late on a shock or something will happen and my zookas will go poof and all die so that was my second attack guys and then a third attack third attack here i basically just finish off that laser with gbe with gbe so finishing that off now at this point once i'd finished off that laser i i think i only had 50 gbe left and not being one for you know knowing how much gv you need to do this that and the other in the game i wasn't quite sure if that was actually going to be enough for me to smoke my zookas in and up to the snuggle spot and then you know with shocks as well and have them be able to to take out the core and it very nearly wasn't enough gve but luckily it was so here we go my really rubbish attempt at smoking zookas in losing the delay all over the place getting sparky landing all the way back there so she gets grabbed by the grapplers and then subsequently dies from the doom cannon far too late on all of my all of my smokes there guys they get half of my zookas get completely obliterated by the shock blasters and the rockets there so i think i probably have about half of my zookas or maybe a third or two thirds or something by the time i get there i only have enough gb for one shock at this point literally i had 10 gb left i think by the time i got there so i was just desperately hoping that my zookas would be able to destroy enough things to give me enough energy for that second shock which i desperately needed luckily as you can see there they did so i was able to clear that whole back section clear the rockets clear the shocks shock blasters clear the flamethrowers and then i basically just let them walk forward and clear the cannons and then naturally progress forward onto the core onto the headquarters there and just naturally start killing that core I threw some critters down there to try and distract the grapplers. Probably not the best idea because actually most of those critters are in that grappler's blind spot, but not that one. Anyway, it didn't really work terribly much. And obviously the grapplers are grabbing the odd zooka every few seconds, but it doesn't matter because despite my appalling, despite my appalling smoky effort there to get my zookas there and despite the fact that i lost about 30 or something getting them there i still managed to to take down the core guys so there we go that's war factory this week an absolutely horrible layout this is my least favorite layout but we still managed to get it down in three attacks as you can see i am really really not the best with all smoky zooka i've never confessed or claimed to be any good at smoky zooka i really am not the biggest fan of smoky zooka i don't really like them that much i just prefer other troop combos but in that particular war factory layout i don't really think there's any other way really given the layout and the other defenses that are there that you can actually 
defeat that particular wall factory layout other than trying to use smoky zooka and getting them in there but as you can see it doesn't matter you don't need to be perfect mine certainly wasn't perfect i lost like how many zookas did i lose in that one can't even remember I lost 71 of my 104 Zookas there, so well over half of my Zookas I lost there, but I was still able to get the victory there. So, you know, you, you can afford, that. I guess that's one good thing about Zookas, you can afford, especially if you have got brick. I didn't bring brick and battle orders, but obviously that helps a lot as well. But it still doesn't really matter if you even lose half or more than half of your Zookas um you still in most cases will have enough to finish off what you're doing and get that victory so there we go guys not much else to talk about that's war factory for this week really hard i hate that layout um i pressed the wrong button there i did not mean to press warships i will be bringing you a warships video very soon come on why is this so does any of this happen to you guys you press the button and then it like gets stuck on the clouds for about five seconds it's ridiculous anyway guys as i was saying hard hard war factory this week uh, let me know if you managed to do it let me know how you managed to do it if you found another way other than smoky zooka to do that layout i'll be most interested to know um yes let me know if you managed to do it and all of that jazz if you like what you see please smash that like button if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell so you're always notified of when i go live and when i bring videos to you and yes that's it guys uh just remember keep booming and i'll see you in the next one snuggles is out bye